I got my goals simple. I just want to knock these cats' heads off. So. Download the All Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights. Challenge your friends. Level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. Junior, um, I want to start off with some uh something kickboxing related, you know, glory related. Adesanya Pereira, man. What do you think of that fight and how that shit played out? Man, um, I'm still buzzing over Adesanya's win. You know, it's um, so so inspirational, you know, to to lose uh three fights to like um, they they called him the boogeyman, you know, and to take the fight back to back that quick, I just thought, man. The amount of pressure he puts on his shoulder and be able to perform like that, it's like, yeah, I'm just still inspired, man. Still still buzzing over it, you know? Yeah, that, that was a crazy, crazy, like, everything around it, the fight. Just is everything. There's just yeah. so, so much you could take away from it, you know? It's yeah. just, it's crazy, man. How about, how about how he played, like, possum and he, like, drew him in yeah. and let him take some punches and, and threw that knee and then right back he cocked that that right hand that was crazy man that was yeah so a bit nuts. of work with that man hit him yeah, with a bit of work yeah. with that it was good yeah. it was good yeah H- have you ever uh sparred izzy or, or Pereira? uh yeah i sparred izzy but not uh i don't think i sparred Pereira. yeah all right and and when you sparred izzy like what did you take away from sparring someone like that you know I mean? you guys are both strikers you guys both come yeah. come from a kickboxing background you know what i mean so like what was different about him just how much he um, can understand range, you know. He's a master of. He's a master of that range, man. He knows how to. He's just the. He's the style vendor, you know. He has so many tricks, so many styles of fighting. You just can't. Um, you just can't have one look against a guy like Izzy, you know. You gotta have. If he brings another look, you gotta bring another look. So you just. Yeah, he's he's got so many uh, weapons in his, in his arsenal, bro. He just brings it out the vault. It's crazy. Yeah. Is is kickboxing the best uh base for MMA? Um striking wise? Yeah, I hey, everything. Man, they say uh you know, I, I watched the video on um George Masvidal saying um how MMA rule set kind of favors wrestlers, you know? Like um and I believe, yeah, if man wrestling is pretty good, but fuck, if you know how to wrestle too and you don't know how to kick you know, it's kind of kickboxing is kind of, yeah, or Muay Thai, you know, it's a, the art of eight limbs, I think. Yeah, you know, arguably, it could be a, a strong base for MMA, you know what I mean? We've yeah. got, we've had many in the past, you know, you yourself is a kickboxing base as well, your brother, a lot of the people from, you know, that area of the world. Let's, mm-hmm. let's go back to Perth, man. You're going to make your debut. It was highly anticipated. You and your yeah. brother on the same card, and then you suffered an injury in training. Take us through what exactly happened with the injury. Uh, you know, just um, we have some hard sparring, especially with, I have a younger brother coming up too, and he 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 gives me some work, man. He he, he puts it on a a few of us. So, um, yeah, one session I had to let him know who's the who's the sheriff, who lays down the law. Nah, I just ended up jamming it. I, I kind of jammed him, hit hit the back of his like. I don't know what happened, but my man, my hand, yeah, I uh, suffered a fracture on the second metacarpal. So it was only like about six, six, seven weeks out. Yeah, but it happened right before the fight, so it kind of sucked, man. But it was a, uh, but it was uh, awesome anyway. To, you know, to, to have my brother win, I feel, I still felt like I was involved anyway. So like, it was crazy. How many uh, events have you been to? like ufc events have you been to in australia because you've been training with like mark everybody for a long time yeah. i was there at the um last i was at the last perth fight when mark fought curtis blades um yeah i've been to a lot man i've been uh one of mark's main sparring partners for a long time you know and um yeah i was i was very lucky to be able to travel the world and um you know uh better my skill set pretty much so i was like a huge huge advantage for you too man even though you know people are getting to know who you are like they're new to like they think that you're new to the game 
but yeah. really you're not because you've been to the events, you've been to main events, you've been in corners, you've been to the big fights. Yeah, bro. I, um, yeah, I think it. I think I'm uh, quite experienced. You know, I don't. I don't see myself as a new cat anymore. I don't. I don't see myself as a, like a a newcomer. I just know like my time's coming, and this is, and here it is now. I can finally uh, showcase what I'm about, man. Definitely, you know, everybody. The people that know, they know. You know, what yeah, I mean? yeah, that's what sure, it is. Sure. And I kind of like um. Yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of enjoying the fighting side of uh, fighting now. You know, and like now that I get to fight top level dudes, it gets me out of bed. You know, so I'm like I'm very excited now, and and my future, what what it's gonna look like in the next couple of years, man. Like, yeah, living the dream, man. Um, the surgery, like, how did that go? You know, what was the recovery time? Like, you said six weeks. You know, did did yeah. it? Was it easy? Six to eight weeks, yeah, bro. It's pretty easy. It was just, um, yeah, just use the other hand, pretty much. For everything. For well, everything, man. My, my right hand's money. Right hand pays the bills, man. You know, you're supposed to fight Acosta with that picture that you posted. You in the in the hospital bed, and you said, "Keep talking shit. Your time is coming." Like, what was he saying? I never caught like what exactly was going on with that. And he said, "Scared, uh, scared, scared monkey makes no money or something like that." And he started calling me, uh, yes, yeah, like I was afraid of him or something, or scared or anything like that. I, I just seen he had like some Twitter fingers, and I just thought, bro, like I just fought fucking five times in the last five months. What, what makes you think I'm afraid of you, bro? I fought all across all promotions, any discipline. What makes you think I'm scared of you? You know. It's, it just made me uh, I felt a bit funny, but hey, I'm, man, I'm 26 years old. I'm young. I'm gonna be one of the youngest heavyweights on the roster, if not. And um, I haven't even reached my prime, man. I'm, I'm happy this fight's at heavyweight because I've I've just been eating what I want and um, been just j killing a uh, training camp. You know, I got I, I feel nice, uh, extra heavy because uh. I was carrying. I was. I was going into these those last couple of MMA fights quite light, you know. Still trying to, still trying to stay at light heavyweight. But this time I got told heavyweights to go, so I've just been eating what I want, training, training the house down. So I'm. I'm very happy mentally, just in a good mindset. And it's uh, just time, time to put in the work, man. Did Did the UFC try to reschedule Acosta? Because I know you wanted that fight. No, no. I was. Uh, I was at like some restaurant and um in Perth called Nobu and I, in that restaurant like I seen Logan Paul in there Post Malone and uh, Mick Maynard was in there also so um, yeah he, he came up to me and said um, man I want you to take this fight like pretty much told me this is your the, this is the fight man and I said if you think so let's do it then and then a couple, I think the very next day I got the, given the contract so for Usman and I thought yeah so uh, I would like to see how I go carrying this extra weight and see how he takes my shots with this extra weight on. And, um, yeah, I, I look to fi finish my contract this year, man, if, if I can, you know. I'm stay busy. What do you think of Usman and, and his fighting style? Um, yeah, he's good, man. Uh, yeah, I th um, this is the highest level of fighting. you got to be... you got to bring something to the table, man. I think he's um, anyone, the ultimate fighter. I think he's good. I think he's, but um, yeah. When I touch him, when the right hand lands, man, I don't. You see if you're good then. When were you able to get back into like full contact with 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 your hand, training wise? Um, only a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So yeah. H have you had surgery on your hands before? No, this was my first time surgery. Yeah. Man, you've been training for a long time too, and you've been smashing fools with a hand. Yeah, the doctors were um, were shocked. They said um, it took a lot longer. I had big bones, you know. So, um, and I heal quick. I'm quite a healthy dude, you know. I don't do I don't do nothing stupid. I just this is my calling, you know. So like um, I just try to stay in the gym always. Yeah. So camp NTG is the crew still? Nothing changed. Nothing changed, man. Um, I finished my last eight guys, eight eight fights, out of this house. You know, um, 
my brothers are still heavily they they a big part of the gym at the moment so um, yeah we got some some killer guys coming up my younger brother will be my main sparring partner and he's like i think in a in a year's time i won't be i wouldn't be surprised if he's up there with, he's in there with me you know yeah from from what i'm hearing from like yourself and and your other brother justin and uh, whoever else is watching you guys train, they're they're yeah. saying that your younger brother is the the one. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like if he's the one, then who are you? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but that's uh, that, that that's what it's, we're gonna have three heavyweights in the in the division. So maybe I'll be the one to take one for the team and drop down to light heavy. You know. So. But until then, you know what I mean? You you do your damage at heavyweight. I I like to see what you can do. Man, I. You know I'm uh, um. I wouldn't be shocked if I if I get phone call every time, man. Like um, anytime you have pullouts or late notice, you know my hands first to go up. So yeah, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked if I have more heavyweight. So what what do you want to show in in this debut in the in your UFC debut and you know something that everybody yeah. only gets one one shot at, right? You only get it one time. So what do you want to show in this one? Um, man, I just want to put on a good fight. I just, I really want to put on, um, yeah, I want to put on a great fight. I really want to win the bonus. Um, yeah, but I mean, I've been grappling a lot. I've been um, just working on my all round game. And I think, uh, I think it's, I can't wait to showcase it. You know, a lot of my fights go too early. And um, now we're at the big leagues. Let's see if it gets, if I can still, yeah, I'm not too sure, man. I just, I got my goals simple. I just want to knock these guys' heads off. So, yeah, there's no, I don't really want to show a freaking flying armbar or, or you know, a spinning back kick. I just want to freaking drop bombs on these guys and let's see if they keep coming, you know? So, well, you know, that's what I think everybody is expecting from you, you know what I mean? Yeah. To, to see you it throw works. bombs. Um, one last question, man. There's some talk bubbling about David Tua coming. Like, if yeah. he comes out of retirement, he fights like he wants to fight Mike Tyson, man. They're yeah. about the same age. I think they they should fight, man. What do you think? They're before they man, get I too think, old. Yeah, I think, man, uh, it would be a great fight. You know, it was, they should it should have happened. And um, I was lucky to spend some time with David Tua for um, when Mark beat Sonny Bill. You know, we all stayed in the house and um. Yeah, he said he's down for it, so I don't see why not. They should yeah. get the boys paid. You seen him moving though, right? Does he still have it? Scary, man. Scary. Yeah, bro. You see him move and you're like, damn, damn. That's a Samoan great right there, bro. So yeah. For sure, man. All love. Uh, April twenty second, man, UFC in Las Vegas. Go in the descriptions, download the All-Star app. Junior, man, always appreciate the time. And, uh, yeah, man, all the best, you know, on your flight, all of that. Take care of business. Thank you very much, Bala. Thank you.